What's going on, everybody? I am back streaming even more Pokemon Bushido development work tonight. Um, it's going to be a shorter stream tonight. I'm trying to make it like two hours, but we've got a lot of really good stuff going on. Lux has been doing some amazing eventing in Suchi Village that I, I absolutely want to check out tonight if I get the chance. Tonight, I'd also like to work on some interiors for the northern map, Panatsu Village. Um, and I'd like to maybe even set up encounters for Jinetsu Pass. That should be pretty easy, right? Good question. I definitely would like to work on other games after Bushido as well. Like, I got still got to finish Splice. I still got to finish Splice. All right, let's start making some stuff though. And let me change the music. Yes, there we go. I want to listen to some like ambient stuff that just like tickles my brain. Ooh, Discord, what's going on? What's going on? Oh gosh, look at this guy. That's pretty cool. Look at this zombie. Ooh, okay. Leaf collection, but don't enter the shrine yet. Okay. I'd be down to just do that then. I can test the leaf collection without entering the shrine. And then I can... Um, where'd my game go? There it is. And then I can uh, work on some of the northern region stuff. This sounds like a plan, yo. I was doing some testing, as you can see by my awesome test map. Ooh. I'd be down for that, Bad Hitboxes. Monster Hunter Rise Arena? Huh. Let's see. So I'm trying to go to Suchi. Yeah, we get to listen to the same music here. Hey, what's up, Fox Streaming? Welcome back. How you doing? I hope you are doing well. Ooh. I, I think that would be worth, Jeroma, making a video about, like, some of my favorite like fan game features. Ooh, all right, sounds good Black Ops. Have a good one and absolutely. I definitely definitely want to remove that like eye strain feeling. Oh. Hey, what's up Beast Shiva? How's that? Hey, thank you Danky Kang. Yeah, in this game you heal by going to the hot springs and you do a little rest. It's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. Oh, that looked kind of bad though. That's something that we could fix pretty easy. Um, that's actually something that I can fix right after I check the leaf collection. So first things first, I believe the leaves aren't available yet until you talk to the dude. Yeah, all right, good night, Black Ops. Ooh, and am I interested in making fake mon? Not for this game. I've We have made sh new shadow variations of Pokemon though. Which is kind of cool. Oh, nice. Working on a city for the fifth gym. That's awesome. We're on official Komre clan business. Dang it. Oh, official Komre clan business. When will they let me go to where I want to go and do what I want to do? Hey, what's up, Jaden? Right? We got some cool looking shadow Pokemon. I, we made some new ones earlier, also. Ooh, so I'm gonna say no. Um, we're basing the Shadow Pokemon off of how Shadow Pokemon worked in Gale of Darkness. Hey, what's up, Ned? How you doing? Hey, thank you very much, man. Thank you for swinging by, and I hope the evening is good, too. What's up, Robotic Fan? How you doing? Right, we got a cute little angry panda. It's awesome. Oh, it should say can't. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, so now I believe the leaves quest has started, right? There's one. Hey, Suchi leaf. Let's see, are there any over here? Uh -huh. They said to check inside as well. Let me check in here. Oh, it's just the jam master, the master of the jam. Okay, let me try going down here. What's this? A little cutscene. I'm starting to really get concerned with this clan. Yeah, I understand that the clan leader has no sense of leadership. I wish Miss Harumi would lead us, but she's always reserved. She can't communicate properly at all. Just persevere for now. Hey! Whoa! You there! Did you hear us talking some shoot? Yeah, I feel like there's gonna be some, maybe not too many side quests. Ah, you must be here for this leaf, right? Oh, is that the Kurt sprite? It's a pretty good sprite. We'll get out of your way. 
Dang, they were talking shoot about Miss Harumi. That was pretty good. The only thing that I would change would be... Oh, two Suchi leaves. Oh, I have two now. Cool. The only thing that I would change would be panning the camera back up after the cutscene, but, like, otherwise, like, that was perfect. It's perfect! Another leaf! Let me make a note, and I have three Suchi leaves now. Hey, thank you, Fire King Atlas. I appreciate that. Welcome, by the way. I hope you are doing well. What's going on? Hello, hello. After Suchi leave... Or uh, Suchi leaf scene. There we go. So now we have three leaves. Let's go this way. What's going on in here? There's a leaf! Oh. Another cutscene. Aha! It's Sukusuku. Or just Suku. Oh, hey, congratulations on winning the tournament. I was assigned to the Kanchu clan. We specialize in bug types, which is great. Hmm. Ooh, interrupt the bookshelves? Alright, absolutely. I've been thinking about you a lot. That thing you did with your katana was super cool. I wish I could do something like that. I also want to help you if I can, so I came to the library to read up on Shadow Pokemon. Check this out. Whoa! Dude, look at that! That's awesome! I love that, like, parchment, like... Wow! Shadow Pokemon are created by removing a Pokemon's emotions. They attack with full force using undiscovered moves. In order to purify a Shadow Pokemon, one must first open the door to their hearts. This can be done by calling a Shadow Pokemon during the battle, or by using Sense. Once a Shadow Pokemon's heart gauge is fully depleted, they can be purified at Relic Stones or Shrines. Shrines, huh? Pretty interesting, right? Uh, if you want, we can meet up at the Sushi Shrine and maybe try to purify your Shadow Pokemon. You'll come? Great, I guess it's a date. Suku Suku. Oh, that's so cool. Hey, thank you, Epsilon. That was really nice. I love that, like, parchment paper. And, oh man, that was really, really good. That was really, really good. Kobalion, the Iron Will. Ooh. Oh! Dude, this is blowing me away. Kavalian is said to have a cold glare and a dislike for humans. This is so nice. Legends tell stories of Kavalian fighting against humans to protect Pokemon. It represents Athos and acts as D. Oh, at first I thought that was de facto leader. It's the de facto leader. Oh, so Epsilon, this was set up by Lux, and Lux has absolutely been crushing it with these books. This is so well done. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Lux did all of this eventing. Hey, thank you, Official G Storm. The Suku sprite was done by Tristan. The Bushido team is very strong. So I can't let you through. Okay, so we have four now. What's up, Robotic Fan? Remember, by the way, you don't have to start your message with ON Cam. You can just get right to the message. Just get right to the message. We don't have any sprites for the devs yet. Oh no, I've been trapped! There we go. Oh no, this lady's blocking me. Oh my gosh. Can I delete this lady? Get out of the way! Get out! Oh, oh my gosh. I think we should remove these tables. Oh, is this leaf inaccessible right now? I think this leaf is just inaccessible right now, actually, with the people blocking. It's all right. Yeah, we can fix this. <laughs> Gosh dang old lady. Let's see. I want to check that door exiting animation again. Yeah, that looks fine. That was pretty nice. Yeah. I'm down to remove the plant, but I'm also down to remove the tables as well, because those tables were just kind of giant blockers, and I'd like it to have more uh, consistency with the other market setup. Like, this market is really nice with, like, the little floor mats and stuff. Yeah, because, oh my gosh, having these massive tables in the center it seems to actually be, like, a no-go. So, bam! Tables, you just got friggin' cut out. Let's see, does this guy sell some stuff? Does this guy sell some stuff too? Cool. Look at that. Get the heck out of here. 
Get the heck out of here. There we go. That's so much better. Oh, yes. There we go. Um, and then another change I wanted to make very quickly was just a super minor one. At the end of this cinematic, I wanted to pan the camera up a little bit. That could be good. Do like little cushions for them to stand on as well. I like the little mats for them to stand on. Like their little, like, what is that called? A tatami mat, I think? Hey, thank you, Nexus. What's going on? How you doing? Ooh, touch some grass. Go Wait, is that like telling somebody to go like touch grass? Is that a thing? Wait, oh, there's a screen color tone here for them to like fade away. Okay. After that, what I want to do is a scroll map, I guess, up to, and then a weight of 10, maybe? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it does seem kind of early. I'm glad to have you here though, Nexus. What's going on? So it scrolls down two and waits 20. Let's scroll up. Oh, it's like saying get a life. Oh, I didn't even realize that. I should have. Go touch grass. That's like saying go outside, kind of. I mean, it's like the same vibe, right? How about you go outside? Get some fresh air, huh? There you go. Shazam. Shazam. Tut. I would love that. Totally not Chuck Norris. Put totally not Chuck Norris in the game. Let's see, were there any other tweaks I wanted to make? Other than that, I mean, it seems pretty good. I've got like no tweaks for the library. Oh, pardon me. I've got like no tweaks for the library. That was really nice. I wonder if it'd be worth duplicating these potentially. So that way, like when you interact with this one and this one, they both are Verizian. And then this one is both, um, what's that? Tarakian? Lugia, oh. And then this one is inaccessible, so we don't even need to put anything there. I might do that, just be like, bam, 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 bam. And then what we could do actually is insert a conditional where you can only interact with this if <laughs> it blocks that. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have Ho-Oh in this. Maybe we will. I love the Ho-Oh battle theme. What we could do is make this also so it's within a conditional if we're facing up. So we can only interact with the uh, bookcase when facing up. That could be good. Uh, character player is facing up. Shazam. And then edit. There we go. And we can just put everything inside of that. Haha! -ha. Hey, what's up, Redicorp? How you doing? Wait, someone that says stop cheating? Wait, say what? Oh, for the library? Hmm. I might be down to put references to movies, maybe. Oh, good question, Bad Hitboxes. Right now, there isn't a system like that. I can't think of the best way to do something like that. That would be pretty involved slash tricky it would be nice but i can't think of the best way to go about doing something like that in a fan game what we i guess what we would have to do is like keep track of which shadow pokemon have been caught and which haven't been caught and if they haven't been caught then enabling something else later lucario with a sword that'd be cool i mean That'd be pretty cool. Okay, copy, paste, delete. Here we go. So here's the Cobalion book. Shazam. There we go. And I guess these don't really need the conditional to check to see if we're facing up. Ooh, a Pokemon with a cool jacket. Ooh. Now that I'm kind of into. There we go. Wait, never mind. We can stand here, so we could interact with this from the side. So let's just do this. Bada boom, bada boom, shazam, and shazoom. I like this shadow Pokemon book, though. That's really cool. Yes, so there are some Pokemon that only shadow Pokemon can learn. They There are specific shadow moves that only shadow Pokemon can learn. And shadow moves are very, very strong. They are very, very strong. Cool, cool, cool. This is some cool stuff coming along. I like it. Let me uh, push my changes real quick. Oh wait, there was one more change I needed to make. I need to go to Suchi Village. I need to drag this son of a gun right here and put it on the second lair. And then that same chunk I need to find. And I need to add like the little topper bits. That way our Pokemon are obscured properly. There we go. 
That seems like a decent fix. Hey! Interesting. Fighting the player character? That is possible to do. You can save a party and a variable, and I think call a fight against that party? But that's something that would be tricky, but it is possible. Oh, yeah. Hate mapping City Zone. You start in one. Oh, gosh. Yeah, maybe that's what I said. I don't know. I, I totally mess up my sentences all the time. There are some moves that only Shadow Pokemon can learn. You know what I mean, though, right? I mean, come on. Come on. Ooh, good question. That'd be fun to have light Pokemon. Ooh, working on the intro. Good luck with that. Hopefully that's going swell. Okay, let me push my changes now. I'll call this small tweaks. Bada boom. Small tweaks. Gotta make the tweaks small. All right, fetch origin. Interesting. If It could be cool to make it so that way you get a Riolu after the starter choice. Let's see. So uh, you could. Hey, what's up, Shellrod? How you doing? Yo, yo, yo. I hope you're doing well. Hello. But yeah, you, I don't think you could just put slash PN into the battle thing. What you'd have to do is, I think get the player name and store it in a variable, and then if it's stored in a variable, then you can change a trainer type based on the variable name by making them kind of like a rival. In the settings, you can make it so that way rival names pull variable values. Hey, thank you, Shellrod. It's going pretty good so far. We're, we're chilling. I want it to be a short stream tonight, though, because my eyes are hurting like crazy. It's wild. The eye strain is so real. But, um, yeah, we're making those changes, working on that stuff. I'll be working on some maps tonight, which should be pretty fun. I made a couple small revisions and tweaks already tonight. I'm just going to be a map man now. The one thing that I do want to set up, actually, is some homes for this village. And I guess I could set up a marketplace as well, and a dojo. And maybe even the cave. Hmm... Oh, he got blue light glasses. Oh, nice. Wait, he tried to destroy you? Oh, no. I think I might get some of those glasses also. I got Flux, but I don't know if that's even enough. Oh, man. <laughs> Praveen pulled out his laser, his laser eyes. I can see that. Oh, he said fake. Oh, damn. Damn. Flux Diablo, though. That's awesome. You got to get Flux. I'm absolutely cranking down the yellows. Like, oh my gosh. Oh. Oh yeah, let's go. This makes me feel like I'm actually blind, though. So maybe something like this. There we go. This could just blast me with yellow. I mean, I guess it's better than being blasted with blue, but at the same time... I hear that. <laughs> You're like, why is it so orange? You're like, yeah, is my monitor broken? Um, I don't know if I'd make Pokemon Sword and Shield references. I'll think about it. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to making some references. Oh, look at that Redicorp. That's awesome. The little squishy guy. Little squishy boy. I'm going to make a door animation real quick. Because these are custom homes. Or I guess they're using custom doors. Thankfully, I was able to readjust this home, so the door animation is actually going to be super easy to set up. What we can do is just copy this, and what was that, 32 by 26? Yeah, that's going to be easy. A, Yeah, I hope they're going, they're doing well also. The whole Thundaw gang is uh, kicking butt. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good reference, Mew Blue. I think I'll do it. You know what? I'm going to take it a step further. We're going to cut... 75% of the decks. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. So we have a 32 by 26. We want to multiply both of them by 4. And my math is telling me that this is 128. And this is what? 104? Because it's 52? That seems about right, right? My grid is way off. At least vertically. But it's alright. Check this out. This is how you make a custom door animation. It takes four frames, and you have to align them vertically. The top frame is open, or closed, and the bottom frame is open. Woo! I need to, like, stop, like, rubbing my eyes, too. That's probably bad for the, uh, the eye strain. 
Oh, that does make sense though, Volteon. Yeah. For like getting colors right in sprite art, I feel like Flux would absolutely mess with that. Ooh, good question, Rail. Uh, so the team limit is four for the game jam. Ooh, that's awesome, Lux. I'm not wearing contacts, though. I've, I don't wear glasses or contacts. What I do for the recolors is I isolate the clothing, and then I make it a um, a color overlay on its own layer. It's it's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, that, so, like, let's say I wanted to change... Like, if I wanted to recolor an NPC who's wearing clothes, what I would do... Oh, I don't think I need to get my eyes checked. The phrasing on that's a little bit off-putting to me as well. It seems very, very, like... You do this! I'm not as not exactly into that. What I do, though, if I want to do a recolor, is I just, like, copy them into their own layer, basically. Or actually, no, I like to do the select color range. And once you have a color range, you can just add to it. Like so. And then copy and paste it to its own new layer. And then here you can do a color overlay. And then just delete all the bright red stuff. And then once all that's left is bright red like on the clothing, then you can change that color overlay to be like hue or color. Of course, this is a very like basic and not even well done example, but like something like that maybe. Cool. So let's set up this door animation. Transform, distort. Hey, thank you, Shanga. I appreciate that. Heck yeah. Thank you very, very, very much for the support. And thank you for joining the Thundogging. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, margins. Wait, which types of margins? Let's see. One. So what I have to do is do one, two, three, four, five, six. Bada boom. Oh, doing the fill bucket and then picking a specific color. That's pretty good also. And then just like getting rid of contiguous. What I was able to do earlier like um when i was doing recolors is um yeah just like isolate oh it's all right i totally don't care about pixel density for the door animations because the door animations are so fast i used to care but i don't care anymore <laughs> i'm blasting through them too fast to care let's see i think it was door bushido i want to open one of them and I want to take this color and I'll just paste it underneath. And this is going to be the like background for our open doors. Shablam, shablam. Cool. Now let's start working on the next one. Journey. Like the, I think I've played that one. I think. That's the one with the dudes in the sand and the red robes. Ooh. It's all good looks. I'd definitely be down to check it. I think I kind of messed up my leveling as well, though. Ooh. Oh, good question. So, Violet Embers, this is 32 by 32, but I'm working with 32 by 26 tiles right now. So, this these aren't exactly the best, like, grid margins for me. But, if you're familiar with Photoshop, you can actually set up grids in Photoshop by doing view show grid and in preferences you can actually go to grids and guides and choose how many pixels you want them to show up yeah so two by two is the one yeah it's all good looks i could probably still try it by like setting my levels i don't know if we should definitely do, like, a level play test again, huh? Let's see. This should be 64. Or, no, this should be 52. Perfect. 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 Is that what he says? Transform. Distort. Up we go. Let's make this, like, 31 degrees, I guess. And then let's really slide this over. Like, let's really scrunch this in to, like, 14. 
Let's go. Okay, that's a good call, Lux. Yeah, Photoshop is paid unless you have, like, some sort of swashbuckling associate. Let's see. 26. Height 26. This seems perfect there. I need to go down to this layer, though, and delete that little bit. Oh, interesting. Oh, good question. I have actually never met any Poketubers. I don't really ever... I don't really watch any Poketubers. <laughs> By that, I mean... Pirate. Swashbuckling associate. Dude, map making is so fun. That's awesome, Denki King. I'm really glad to hear that. Heck yeah. Alright. Let's save this as... What was that? Doors? Bushido... Five. Cool, cool, cool. So now that's been saved, we've set up our own custom door animation. That was pretty fast, wasn't it? Okay, so let's actually make a new map here in Hanatsu Village that we will also call Hanatsu Village. And this will use Bushido indoor. Let's make it kind of wide. Let's make this map kind of thick if you don't, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. And then I believe this used BOTW Kakariko. Kakariko Village has a very good um, theme from Breath of the Wild. All right, paste that son of a gun right in there. And then I'll just go with like a basic wood floor for now. We could alternate though and try a different, like, I wonder if I should mess around with tile. Probably not though. Probably shouldn't mess around with tile. We can make these homes kind of small, though, because they were kind of small on the outside. It would make sense for them to be small on the inside, too. Okay, okay. Get a little doormat. Yeah. And we got to extend this one over so it should be centered. Bada boom. Oops. We want this to be on the first layer. Look at that. We got ourselves a little house. Oh, that's just, oh, that's just great. So, let's go to a village like Suchi Village and take a door. And let's just rip that door off and put it right here. And then let's change it to be the door that we just made. Doors Bushido 5. And then let's make it so instead of taking us to Suchi Village, it takes us to Hanatsu Village into our little house that we just made. Sweet. Then we need to make sure that this one also is set properly. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong door. There we go. That's the right door. Let's see, and I needed to mess around with something on this also. I needed to put this on the third layer there. And I think I need to mess around with the tile properties real quick. Passage. These are all good for passage, but where's priority? Oh, there we go. I definitely needed to mess around with priority on these. Oy. Wait, here we go. And then this needs to be like two, I guess. <laughs> Want to eat the map? It's a pretty tasty map. Hey, what's up, Roskido? How you doing, man? Oh, it definitely requires a lot of patience, though. Setting up maps. It takes time. And really, it's something that you can just do over and over and over again on the same map. Like you can tweak it and tweak it and tweak it and tweak it. And then you can think it's done. But then you need to come back and tweak it a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, Violet Ember's map. Oh, I want to see it. I want to see some cake maps. Ooh, a map full of shadow Pokemon? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Ooh, nice. They got the patience down. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. So you're set. If you already got patience, then you're already, like, a step ahead. Because there's plenty of people who aren't very patient, and they're just like, I want my map done now. And it's like, whoa. That's not how it works. It ain't go like that. All right, let's go into the Suchi village again. Copy another one of these arrows and paste it. And instead, this one will take us to Hanatsu village. Right here. We're almost done. See, it wasn't that fast. We'll work on filling in the homes later. We could add a dude, though. Let's add an old dude with a big old mustache. Let's do that. I think that'd be fun. 
Let's see. He ain't got no mustache. She ain't got no mustache. Oh, oh, look at this boy. He's going to say, so, dude. There you go. That's pretty, pretty nice. Cool. And then on the second layer, let's give this guy some nice plants. This guy's got to have some nice plants in his house. There's going to be some nice plants in this house, too. I like plants. What can I say? If it's a crime to like plants, then lock me away and th throw away the key. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I kind of relate to that, Voltzion. I want stuff to be done fast, but accepting that that's not always the case is the key to unlocking true inner peace. Ooh. So I do have a Shadow Ninetales set up. I did make a Shadow Ninetales sprite, but Shadow Ninetales isn't in the game. But everything else for it's all set up. I don't think anybody's been given a Shadow Ninetales. What we should do is keep track of which Shadow Pokemon have been given to Shadow Trainers. And we could even put that in our Pokedex doc. Because in the Pokedex doc, I was keeping track of Shadow Pokemon that I've sprited. Oh wait, these guys weren't even going to get Shadows anymore. But yeah, let's make a note of which ones have been given to trainers, or which ones are accessible. Oh, okay, give him, give him the admin. Ooh, what's up, Tristan? Ooh, check the art channel. <gasps> oh! That is awesome. I really like this. Look at this. This is the Royal Samurai Ryo Masayoshi. I love the armbands. I love his muscles. I love his facial hair. I love his long, flowing hair. I love that he's got a katana. Freaking A, that's awesome. Hey, what's up, Kendall's? How you doing, man? Thank you, dude. I'm glad to hear you're loving it. We're having a chill time tonight working on more Pokemon stuff. We just got this awesome uh, Samurai Sprite. This is looking really freaking good, man. Oh my gosh. Dude, I know he's ripped. He's buff as heck. We could potentially try giving him a cape. <laughs> he's holding the katana. No, he's ready to like pop it out and like get you. Oh man, that is awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I could be down for a cape potentially, like a little like. Whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> right, that's so cool. That is so freaking cool, man. I love it. We could plug it in right now, actually. And then if there's any tweaks, we could just update. So we could actually see him in our game's intro. Let me go to my. Pokemon Bushido graphics. And right now we can plug him in as a picture, I believe. So he shows up in the game's intro. And where's our placeholder guy? There's our placeholder guy. Oh, he originally had a cape. I really like this though. I'd be down to maybe even bring that cape back. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's run it. And let's see what it looks like in game now with our little uh, little change. <laughs> hey, thank you, Mew Blue. We got a pretty nice tile set going on. We're chilling. Hey, what's up, third gen gamer? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Whoa, I just skipped a lot. I should not skip that. There's been new additions to the intro. Ooh, so the professor will be our sensei. It'll be our sensei. In the feudal era of the Pokemon universe, there was a time before the existence of trainers. Instead, Kenshi roamed the regions, training both their Pokemon and their swordsmanship. Among the Kenshi, the prospect of honor and respect were of utmost importance. The codes that taught these virtues to the people were known as the codes of Bushido. Oh, let's go. That'd be cool, devs in the Larvitar. Oh, I love that sparkle. That's awesome, Tristan. That sparkle was from Blaine's bald head. Oh, that's awesome. Oh yeah, third gen, you can send me stuff. They're sorted into a clan in accordance with their affinity and compatibility with specific Pokemon typings. The three major clans protect us and fight for us, acting as our sword and shield. We got placeholder red guy placeholder blue guy and placeholder green guy they all work in harmony to protect us underneath these clans are the minor clans representing the lesser types and then you got ya boy coming in here Ryo Masayoshi I guess I got to adjust his placement in this but otherwise that's like perfect look at him 
has final authority over the clans. Look at that. He's got his katana and everything. Oh, man. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I got to remove the coloring on the locations. Dude, placeholder blue guy is pretty cool. <laughs> Stan placeholder blue guy. Let's go. Ooh. That's kind of cool. I'll have to check. I'll have to show that off in a little bit, third gen. I know the Sukiro Rangers. They'll they'll never disappear. The Sukiro Rangers are awesome. Heck yeah! Well, thank you for swinging by. Ooh, so good question, Rail. There actually there will be a bunch of clans, but the player will not join any of them. The player will instead travel to all of them and talk to them, but there will be no joining of clans. So Nobunaga was actually a heavy influence for, like, the direction of the um, Royal Samurai. I know, I'm spoiling stuff. Ooh, quick question. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna skip through some of this stuff so I can show off the dramatic fight with our uh, Sensei. Alright, check this out. Sensei battle. Sensei battle. I'm gonna say Larvitar. Larvitar would be my favorite. Look how good that is. Yeah, so we're using the red sprite in the intro just because we don't have battle or sprites for our protagonist yet. So it's placeholder. We got a lot of placeholder. I'm going to say normal. Oh, yep. Definitely samurai Champ champlu. If any sprite looks weird, we're going to say it's placeholder. Oh, yeah. You want the yo? Do you want me to uh, treat you to a yo? Give this a listen. Check this out. This is going to be heavy debugging. So it's not the most um, ideal like playtesting environment. But through the use of heavy debug, I can do this. Oh, no. Wait, I shouldn't have done that. I stepped on the wrong tile. Oh, that's not the that's not the dev team robotic fan. <laughs> the dev team is me, um, Lux Diablo, Tristan, and Haunted Art Studio. Oh yeah, it just looks like a giant sea. <laughs> I mean that's pretty cool though. Alright, I need to debug win this and see if I can get out of here with without messing too much up. Oh gosh, that's kind of scary that you can see their footprints. Yes, yeah, that is the, that is the. Uh... Oh look, she did an animation over here. Nice. That is the dev team. All right, so this is once again using heavy debug, so this isn't 100% legit. Ooh, so a lot of those are actually from DeviantArt. But check this out. If you want to hear the yo, you're going to have to go to the Samurai or the Shogun tournament. And then in here, you can hear a bunch of yo's. This tournament is so well made. Oh my god, I love it. All right, here we go. Listen. It's so good. Yep, and then Suku's here too. Oh, it's so good. We gotta get to the Suku fight. God, we got some we got some friggin' bangin' themes in this too for the battles. Right? Oh, it's just Chef's Kiss. Mwah. It's say Magnifique, the yo Right? Oh, we got some boppin' tunes. Dude, Suku is absolutely an amazing character now. Hey, what's up, Kaderade? How you doing? It's it's jamming. We're jamming along. <laughs> I don't even care. Oh, let's go. <laughs> oh, that's definitely a fair point, Digi Souls. Learning stuff like that's that's just awesome. Yeah, Lux is definitely doing Suku justice. 
Turbo Justice. I love this battle theme. Oh, thank you, you guys. Yep, Spupa's awesome. Suku's Pog. We got a lot of really cool characters. It's time for defensive measures. Suku Suku. Yeah, she has her Ninkata as her ace. And once when Ninkata comes out, she says, this isn't looking good, it's time for defensive measures, and then the Ninkata gets buffed up in defense and special defense. But I've debug given myself a level 95 Charizard. So, um... I mean, it was, let's just say it was a close battle. It was, it was close. <laughs> Alright, next battle. We fight our childhood friend, Akane... I love that yo. Yep, Charizard Charizard might be the only Pokemon, right? Also big mood, Mew Blue. Making small projects that never get finished is something that I've done so many times. Hey, thank you, Caterade, right? Just yo. Oh, and check this out. Fire Pokemon cannot be burned. So my lead Pokemon doesn't get burned in this battle. If you lead with a fire Pokemon, you won't get burned. What I could do is bypass that check and just make it so you can always be burned, but I figured, A. A, you know? But yeah, if you're not leading with a fire Pokemon, you will be burned. Ooh, a regional Linkata? That would be cool. That'd be super freaking cool. Alright. Should I just debug win this? I probably shouldn't continue playtesting through this because I'm doing a bunch of debug right now. Hey, what's up, Lunar Systems? Welcome. How you doing? Ooh, I would definitely set that up, Lux. I can definitely set that up. All right, there's other Pokemon besides Charizard? I would love that. Yeah, when somebody joins, just go... Dun -dun, yo! Ooh. <laughs> yep, so that's the secret. The secret to beating Bushido right now is picking Fennekin. Getting a fire type starter and just blasting through the game with fire is right now the uh the main the best strat. Ooh, Charizard Solar Run. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, so that would be the next goal, Tristan. Overworlds for Rio and the Shogun. Although I might like to see a cape on Rio, but that that's just me. That's just me. Let's see. We gotta fight. I love the music that we use here. The the Mario Bowser Castle. There should totally be a game called Pokemon. Uh, okay, if we want to cut the cape, then I'm down for that too also. I'm definitely, definitely down. I think the sprite that we have now is very good. And I'm all for like moving on to the next thing. Like I'm down to lock something in and move on. Oh, we got anime dialogue. Let's go. Check out how freaking cool this is. Oh my god, you updated it, Lux. This is so anime now. Kenji scum like you are worth nothing. I'll take you out here and now. Hey, what's up, Lemmy Lover? Right? The Odyssey Bowser's theme is actually really good. It's time to... Unless... Oh no! Quick. Control F. Unless. Unleash. There we go. Fixed it. Thank you, Blue. We got some good sprites, right? It is time to unless my full power. Spikes. Oh, no. Shadow style. Ninja agility. Oh. I'm still faster, though. Because I'm level 95. She got a gibble. I set up... I made a shadow gibble. If we want to use that for a trainer. I've made a lot of shadow Pokemon. <laughs> oh, it's all good, Tristan. If you want to write stuff, you can definitely send it for us also. I definitely think setting up, like, character themes is cool. Yeah, Shadow Gibble is really nice. You want me to show it off? I can show it. I can show it. Graphics, battlers. What battler is Gibble again? Blah, 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 blah. You're around here, right? It's Gen 4 towards the end. Or is it not towards the end? Is it towards the middle? Ooh. I'm down to hear massive spoilers. But check this out. Here's a Shadow Gibble. 
Oh, wait. Here. Oh. Oh, I'll find the right one. There it is. Look at him. Look how angry he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I liked making shadow Pokemon. You're going to want to catch one of these, too. You got Shadow Riolu. Little Shadow Gibble. Palette swaps are the thing that I can handle in terms of sprite art. Let's see. What other shadows did I make? <laughs> There's a lot of shadows. I know, right? Look at that Gibble. We got some good Pokemon in here. Ooh. Yeah, dude, the Mega Garchomp is crazy. <laughs> oh, and I think I know the best way to auto-purify. Oh, that light, what was it? I'm just going, <laughs> that light. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool, Mew Blue. I like that. Oh, giving them an aura. See, that's kind of cool also. I just kind of recolored them and made them purple. I just killed it instead. How'd you do that? What the? You you can't be serious. Your strength, that light, it, it can't be. Hey, what's up, Mad Mediocre? How you doing? Welcome. We're making a Pokemon game, and uh, we have a little bit under two weeks to finish this. I gotta I gotta get back to working on like maps and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, testing out these battles is really fun. Let's see. I guess maybe I shouldn't continue playing through this. I keep saying that, but it's just too fun. Oh my gosh, that was... Huh, the transfer there. Hey, thank you, man. We're chilling, having a nice time tonight. Let's see. I'm going to play some more relaxing music. I'm going to reset the song. And I might look into updating that transfer there. It looks like... It took too long for them to disappear when the uh, Akui grunts ran away. Hmm. Oh, that sucks, Mew Blue. Hmm. Ooh, yep. We're using RPG Maker XP. That's the version that is the best for... Um, or that's the only version that's compatible with the Pokemon Essentials. But yeah, I'm going to continue just listening to this nice, chill... Seaside Kingdom. But yeah, if you're interested in making Pokemon fan games, I actually have a tutorial series on my YouTube channel that is 83 parts long, and uh, it'll teach you anything you need to know about using Pokemon Essentials and RPG Maker XP, and it's very fun just making stuff. Um, I should work on setting up some interior maps right now, though. I think I set up my map transfers decently for Hanatsu Village. I should make a market. And the best way to do that, I'm just going to copy an existing market. Let's go. Hanatsu Village, paste. Map properties. Rename to Hanatsu Market. Shazam. And then we'll make it so this transfers us back to Hanatsu Village and places us on the door. Now we just need to go back to Hagane City. Copy the old market door. Go back to... Wait, did I just drag stuff around? I think I did. I don't want to do that. Oops. I hate clicking and dragging stuff like that sometimes. Oh, I should have done that. Just started season two. Oh, I should have totally done that. All right. Let's go to Hanatsu Village. Paste that door. And make it so instead of taking us to the Hagane Market, it takes us to the Hanatsu Market. Right here. Cool. So I think that's all set up. I just need to make a dojo now. Ooh, good question, Nexus. Um, incorporating Gen 8 stuff into Splice actually took a long time because I didn't pull from the Gen 8 project. I started trying to set up a lot of stuff manually, and that was stupid on my part. It took a lot of time, like, manually remaking some moves and, like, plugging in Pokemon stuff. But um, there is a Gen 8 um, Essentials um, GitHub repo that you can pull from, and that makes it so much easier. It would be really nice to set up like a, a Gen 6, 7, and 8. Um, yeah, there is a Gen 8 project, yeah. 
I should definitely like make a tutorial about that. Getting Gen 6, 7, and 8 all in your game and making it like essentials ready and making it as easy as possible. Because I feel like that'd be very valuable. That would be Soup's Val. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'll just wait till episode 420 and then I'll then I'll get right in there. That's a good plan. <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. I'm going to place some more flares. There we go. Got some nice flurs up here. I'd actually like to place this bit of the dojo on the second layer. So I can just confirm. Oops. So I can just confirm that everything is layered on top properly with the little dojo like tree or not tree. What am I saying? Door little topper. And there we go. We got ourselves a nice little door topper. Those are just the best. Ooh, yeah, so you've been there is something that you can use Nexus. There's something that you can pull Yep, we definitely got ourselves a mountainy region and I'm all for it I love me some mountains especially up here because this is meant to be like the most mountainy area in the region Yes, this is meant to be the fire clan tower. Yeah, we made it very bright red It might be a little bit on the bright side like the song mr. Brightside where I pull it from? That I'm a little bit uncertain of. I know about the existence of the Gen 8 project, but I personally have never pulled from it. But I do know that it's a thing. I can confirm that it's a thing. This much I can I can promise. Let's make a new map and we'll call it Nensho Dojo. Oh, I should put lava in this. Ooh, okay. I think Tristan's got it. I think that's it for the uh, list of stuff. So the Royal Samurai Overworlds, the Shogun Overworlds. Let me confirm on the art spreadsheet. Cool, cool. There's that. Oh wait, and I can call I can call Rio's Battler done. Let's go. Marking more stuff is done is awesome. Okay, it might be a little bit too bright. Hmm. I could definitely look into reducing the brightness then on that. Ooh, animated Shadow Pokemon. Yo, that'd be nuts. That'd be awesome. Oh, well, Baby Bus. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Well, I think he called out the battlers. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Ooh, Charmeleon color, maybe. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's a little bit on the bright side, for sure. Let's adjust the width of this, though, and make it 70 by 35. Okay. And then for our BGM, we're going to go to HGSS Gym and lower that to, like, 80. Cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, so Nexus, what you, yeah, what you'd want to do is actually, uh, it's something that you could actually pull from GitHub, so you would download like the whole like, like repository, which is basically just a, a project folder, and then what you could do is take that and put it into your game, but what a lot of people do is they download the main essentials GitHub, and they have that like folder, and then they also pull Gen 8 into that same folder, at least I believe that's what a lot of people do. Let's see. Oh, shoot. Did I set Nensho Dojo to be an outside map? Oh, goodness. It should be an indoor map. There we go. And I'd like to add lava to this. Let's add some lava. I lava the sound of that. So first things first, we want to go to our tile sets. So we want to open up the indoor tile set. And we got a lot of room to work with here. This is awesome. 
This is awesome. And then I want to go to the cave tile set. Bushido Caves. Oh, so there is a plug and play version? Okay, that's perfect. A, a plug and play Gen 8. That is perfect. Ooh, and we got some nice lava tiles, bro. Bro. Let's go. And I'm putting lava in here because they are a fiery bunch, the Nensho clan. Let's see. They're a fiery bunch of hooligans. Let's see. And hopefully this doesn't look too awkward placed on like the wood tiles. It might look a little bit awkward. So I wonder if I should also add like dirt. Hmm. I'll just see how it looks. It'll probably look weird. But hey. But hey, you know. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Alright, let's go to our indoor map here. We've updated our tile set now, I believe. There it is. There's our lava. There's our god dang lava. And then let's go and start just setting up the intro area for our dojo. And I'd like it to maybe be a little bit like inverse to how the Komare dojo is set up. And by the way, check it out. I already made a, a custom mat for when you enter the dojo. It's kind of cool, right? Because I'm lava late. Oh, I love that. Ooh, okay. If I can get rid of that gray bit, then it should look fine. Yeah, let's do that. So all we have here is the... Oh, wait. I need to get rid of contiguous. But bam Something like that should look fine, like just in the ground. I wonder if it would look fine without this bit as well. Or this bit. Maybe that's a little bit too much, though. It's got to have a little bit of a border there, right? Let's do a little test then. Let's set up a little lava pit. Oh wait, I need to refresh. Bloop, bloop. There we go. Let's see. Wait, did I not? Wait, what the heck? Did I not put this anywhere? <laughs> Am I tripping? There we go. If people walk in and see a bunch of lava, they're immediately going to be like freaked out. Hey, welcome back, Dicky King. Not too much. I have just been chilling, working on some interior maps, and I just remembered I made a mistake on my homes right here for Hanatsu Village. I need to add these little, like, wall toppers. They're simple, but I feel like they add a lot. Look at that. Just, it's, it's the little things. It's the little things. All right. I hope you have a good one, Lord Siphon. Thank you again for swinging by. And until next time, I hope that you have a good one. I'll see you next time. Let's see. Let's set up a little lava pit like like this. And I want it to maybe be like a little like vertical bit. And we can do another vertical bit here. And maybe we could extend this a little bit. Like one over here. So it's like a, a three-way passage. One over here. One over here. Cool. And then shadow tiles for like this. And then let's bump it up a little bit, like one, two, three. That seems decent. That seems decent to me. There we go. A little something, something like that. Go back to the market, grab this, you know, do a little something, something. Put this guy right there. But boom, there we go. We got ourselves a pretty deep dojo. And then what I'd like to do is like a staircase here. So hopefully this doesn't look too outlandish and stupid. I'm thinking this doesn't look stupid. I'm hoping this doesn't look stupid. Oh, it comes with the sprites as well? Oh, I didn't even realize that. Oh, let's go. It's going to save time. Hell yeah. I'm going to put some plants in here just because it'd be funny. I'm glad that you found that, though. Heck yeah. I'm definitely all about saving time. Let's see, put a little scroll there, put a little thing there, put a little window like here, put a little window like there. There we go, we've got ourselves a nice little lava dojo coming on so far. I know, right? Plants and lava mix very well. I think that's just science, right? That's like a scientific fact. 
cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go to the market. Copy that. And then instead of this taking us to Hanatsu Village a little bit lower, it'll take us a little bit higher. All right, that sounds good, Shellrod. Thank you again for swinging by, and I hope that you have a good one. Get a good night's sleep. I just hit the one hour mark, so I have one hour left to go for the stream. I just want to do a two hour one, so I will absolutely want to hit the hay and be a normal human being as well. Pretty soon. <laughs> Heck yeah. Heck to the yeah. What I could try doing is actually like cornering this maybe. Do one of those. Maybe do one of these. I know. Oh god, one hour left to finish the game. Speed run, go! Oh gosh, wait. Why is this awful? I guess what I could do is this and then put this on the third layer. It's kind of dumb though. But it works. But it's kind of dumb. But it works. <laughs> Ah, but it's kind of dumb. I'm going to fix it. I don't know why you would want this if it doesn't also have lava underneath. What self-respecting map maker doesn't want lava under their corners? Answer me that! And I guess I should also delete this little bit here. Because it's meant to, like, taper that, I think. Shazam. Shazam. There we go. Although I guess... Shoot. Alright, Voltion could finish it. You got one minute left to finish your game. And Voltion will be like, yeah, I made five, dude. Come on. Give me a real challenge. Alright, copy you. Copy you. I guess put you, you. Oh, gosh. Did I put these on layer one? Oh, no. Okay, wait. Undo, undo. Copy paste. That's what we want to do. We want to put these on their own layer, separate from layer run, and underneath layer one. There we are. That is so much better. That is so much better. And then we can just delete these little corner bits. Hell yeah. That's looking good. All right, save Bushido indoor.png. Yes. Lava. Lava. Oh, it's burning. Okay, let's get rid of this third layer garbage that we set up earlier. And while we're here, while we're thinking about it, let's go to Bushido Indoor and make these lava tiles impassable. Players should not be able to walk on lava unless we want them to. And we don't want them to. <laughs> That'd be funny, finish a game within a stream, do like a super short one. Do like little bite-sized pieces. I'd be down for that. Let's see, I'll just copy this door and then make a new door like that. There we go. And we'll have to make this one that same door as well. There's a bug. Oh, look at that thinking rock. I love it. All right, Hanatsu Village. I think you don't need to call out bugs at this stage of development just because it's still being actively worked on. That'd be like saying there's a bug. Oh, I'd be down to do that. <laughs> Make the lava terrain tech seven, so it's just water. Lava is really just... <gasps> there's water, and then there's lava, which is hotter. Oh, good call, yeah. So I can just do that. Blunk. I know, right? <laughs> Yo, there's a bunch of bugs in the city. But look, we got it. Shazam. I know, right? Isn't that kind of mind-blowing? Lava is just hotter. Hot water. It's kind of kind of crazy stuff. These are the kinds of revelations that you can only have when you join a Thundaga stream. So thank you very much for swinging by, you guys. Let's um, take a look at how the other doge is set up. I put a little, like... Oh, I didn't put shadows in it. I guess that's why I was able to do these, like, lines around. I'm kind of down to do the line approach instead of the shadow approach for the dojo. Just because I think it looks cool. Let's do something like that. Something like that. Something like that. There we go. Yeah, water is wet. Water do be wet, though. 
Okay, let's do something like this, maybe. And we could actually have the leaf checker inside. He could be standing, like, right here and be like, Halt! You cannot progress further into the Nensho Clan Dojo unless you have all of the leaves. Let's do that. We could set him up to be a counter, actually. Do I have any other counters around here? I do. Here's one. Nensho Dojo. I know he goes, yo, 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 yo. Where the fuck? What do you think you're doing? He says, where the frickin' heck do you think you're flipping going? He says, what the H-E double hockey sticks do you think you're doing? That's what he says. And I'll have him say, yo, you need the leaves, bro. Okay. And then let's make him a counter of just two. And let's also make it so that his opacity is 255. His opacity is zero right now. Oh, let's go, Lux. I want to show that to the stream. Check out what Lux has been working on, you guys. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> yeah. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> That'd be funny. He just pushes you into the lava. Oh, man. All right. Good night, me, Blue. I hope that you have a good one. Have a good one. Oh, that was a script command. This needs to be a text command. You need all the leaves, bro. And we can actually put him here as, like, a guard. One, two, three. I guess he... I'll give him a vision range of three. And then... How is the, the item count set up again? It's like... VHI? VIQ. Cool. Oh wait, I guess this guy never disappears, huh? We have to have one so there's like another event page where he disappears after Suchi Shrine is complete. Cool, cool, cool. Move scripts. Oh, that's, that's awesome, Nexus. Oh, you're going to go to bed? All right, I'll see you, Violet Embers. Have a good one. Until next time, I hope that you have a good one. So instead of Komare Leaf, he can check for Nensho Leaf. And he'll say, Get those five leaves. Else he'll say, ah, I see. He'll say, cool, you got the leaves. Ooh. Interesting, Bushido would only be the third game to do that? Nice, we're breaking records, let's go. Oh, it's all good, Lux. It is all good. I know, right? He just says, cool, you got the leaves. Okay, he said, he'll just say, cool, you got the leaves. Insert, show text. You may pass. Insert. Control self switch A on. New event. Self switch A is on. Actually, I should just copy and paste and delete that son of a gun. If self switch A is on, he'll just say, show text. You may pass, and then he will be an action button instead. There we go. So we'll have to get the five Nensho leaves. Oh, wait, and otherwise he'll say get those leaves, and then insert a set move root player. Move down. Aha! There we go. Lava surfing would be kind of cool. Mm hmm. Well, it comes with cosplay Pikachu. Oh, interesting. You can spin in place to evolve a Milsery? I did not know that was a thing. What? What the heck? Let's also go to Suchi Village and let's copy one of the Komure Leaves events and just make a new one in Hanatsu for testing purposes. And I guess we can put them inside of the dojo, the Nenso Dojo. And this will have its own. I guess we could make a different switch for this. 88. Oh, shoot. 
this was overwritten. 91 is Uncatchable Wild. We need to remember the names of that. Whew. Uncatchable Wild. Yeah, turn the monitor upside down. That'd be awesome. Ooh, I'm probably going to get Shining Pearl. Probably. I guess we'll see. But I guess there maybe shouldn't even be a uh, leaf sw uh, search switch on for this. So Uncatchable Wild is 91. Cool. But let's delete. Oh, wait. Oh, this is absolutely using the... Oh, cool. So if we want to place them inside, there's these. That's awesome. Cool. And I'd be down to actually delete this event page and make it so the the tr the leaf is just always there. Nice. Get some diamond. Okay. And then this will give you a Nensho leaf. And we have to save it into its own variable, which hopefully I set up already. I did switch thirty or variable thirty-three, Nensho leaves. If variable thirty-three Nensho leaves is greater than one, it'll say you now have V thirty-three Nensho leaves. And then variable thirty-three once again check to see if that's equal to five. You can now access the Nancho Dojo. Hey, hey, gameplay, gameplay. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Cool. And we can actually just place five in the dojo right now for testing purposes. So let's go and test it. And afterwards, I'll start setting up the uh, upper floors of the dojo, which will be pretty cool. Check this out. We can actually run there. We don't have to debug warp. Look at this. We got a nice big old mountain pass. Oh, yeah. The Galarian mask stuff is absolutely nonsense. I agree. Oh, that's weird. So we might... I think we're doubling up on the cave transition. I guess I need to work on fixing that. It's, I think it's because I call cave in and cave out because cave in and cave out are required for like the um, escape rope to work. Look at this. We got a nice little mountain town. Let's go into our doge. Let's check what's going on in that doge. Hey, here we go. While we're here, we might as well edit some metadata. Outdoor. I will show the area. Map position. I show. Kablam. And while I'm here, let's also set up Hanatsu Market. Outdoor, no. Show area, no. Map position, here. Hanatsu Village, outdoor, no. Show area, no. Map position, here. Is this set up? Ooh, Hanatsu Springs, no. Show area, no. Map position, here. Cool, Hanatsu Village is set up. Janetsu Pass is, shed, is set up. John Stew Pass. <laughs> oh, man. I, I ate too much John Stew. Get those five leaves. There's a Nensho leaf. Get those five leaves. Oh, wait. Let's update this. He'll say, get those five leaves. It looks like you only have... Slash V33. Aha! And XN Dojo. We can still call him Dojo Keeper in these. He'll say, you may pass, bruh. Ooh, check Discord. What's going on? Ooh! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Let's show, let's show, uh, let's show the stream what Lux has been working on. I love this little cave. Why do you Kenji always get in my way? Look at the Komare clan. And we got a little Trumbeak and the Akui clan. That is so cool. And then I guess this is meant to be one of our admins. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I love the use of the jagged text box as well. That is really cool. It's like you can tell that they're like yelling. Oh, that's the Comer leader placeholder. Nice. Oh, that is so cool. That is awesome. 
Interesting. I need to look into figuring out how to do that. I like that. I like that muchly. Very much. Oh, heck yeah. So that's the shout message. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, so you just do slash SH. Oh, and it does a sound effect too? That's so cool. With the leader's name? The leader's name for the Komare clan is... What was it? It was like Mari? Was that it? I'm very bad at remembering the names. Harumi. Oh my gosh. That's my bad. Yeah. Oh, so I keep defining it, broskiddo. I keep defining it, and it keeps on getting wiped. I don't know what the heck it is, but I, I keep on adding it to town maps, and it keeps on getting removed from town maps. It might be just a bug in Essentials? Yeah, Harumi Kohono. Oh, I love that. Kohana. That'd be so funny if it was Harumi Konoha. Get those five leaves. You only have zero. Okay, Nencho Leaf 1. Nencho Leaf 2. It didn't play the sound effects there because we were already playing previous sound effects. Bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. Alright, here we go. Get those five leaves. It looks like you only have four. Okay, fine. You can now access the Nensho Dojo. Yeah! Cool, you got the leaves. You may pass, bruh. You may pass. Cool! That's getting there. Alright. Let's start setting up the rest of our doge. So if we want to start plugging in some more doge, let's just copy this floor. Paste like so. Make sure that they're far enough away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. They are far enough away. I'll push this one over and push that one over. And then maybe just swipe this. Bada boom. Hmm. Yeah, we could remove the white line there. Part of me kind of likes it. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I kind of see what you're saying, though. I kind of agree. Also, yeah, the lack of periods is disturbing. Maybe we could just do... We could go back to the shadow thing, then. What if we do that? And keep the uh, lines in the middle, but make it so that way the border has the, uh, the shading. I think that'll look better. That'll probably look nicer. So something like that, then. And then what we can do is we can bring lines into, like, the center. So this is meant to be a little bit larger of a floor. I'm intending for this to be a little bit longer. And this will be where there's a little bit more lava. Let's see. So we go up there, and we'll make it so... Maybe we come up here. And then we have to kind of, like, wrap around. I'm down for a little wrap around. A little wrap around room. Oh, jeepers. Just gotta get, get one of these. Let's just do this. Boom! Boom! There you go. So maybe you have to, like, rock smash up here. Let's see. So we could set that up like this. Look at me go, dude. I'm a mapper. And then I'd like for there to maybe be, like, a lava bit. Oh, I think it'd be cheeky, actually. I'm gonna be cheeky. Check this out. This is going to be maximum cheekiness. Here's what you do. Here's what you do. You make it so there's a little plant surrounded by a little pool of lava. There we go. That's kind of cheeky. There we go. So I'm down to put some Nensho grunts in here as well to like force some fights. And I'm very down for this place to, like, defy expectations slash reality. So we can wrap around here. There can be a grunt here. And then we go over here. Here we go. So they can be standing right here. And then we wrap around like this. Cool. So far, so good. Cool. So I want this to kind of feel, like, enclosed and claustrophobic. 
And I think we can accomplish that pretty well with some, like, well-placed lava pools. Oh, and this should be a staircase up. I don't know what I'm doing here. We can put that on the third layer, though, so it doesn't have to, like, mess around with any of the lava pits. It's looking okay. Let's wrap this up one. And then let's, like, corner this down one. Do something like that, maybe. There you go. It's looking pretty good. Hey, what's up, William? How you doing? Also, what's going on, Bryson? How are you guys doing? What is going on? Ooh, good question, Tristan. I'm going to say for the Shogun's robes, I would be down to maybe have a mix of, like, white, red, and green. Where he, he could have, like, a primarily, like, maybe a primarily red robe, and then, like, one layer above that that's, um, did I say red? So primarily, like, maybe a primarily red robe, and then one layer above that that's white, and then another that's green. There was that one Shogun image that I sent... That kind of was like um, kind of what I was thinking for him, where it's almost like maybe he's just got like a lot of robes, perhaps. He's got layers, and he could have like a little like headpiece as well. Ooh, good question, William. This is coming out on March 14th. Come hell or high water, this game will be released, and it will be playable, and it will be fun. Also, yeah, it's in the title. There you go. <laughs> Oh, man. Yes, I want him to have layers like an onion. Yes. The more Shrek-like. I'm so down for Shrek. I'm so down for Shrek-like stuff. Yeah. It'll definitely be fun. But I don't even know why I'm putting a plant down there. So all I need to do now is get some Rock Smash Rocks. And then maybe move this one over. There we go, bada boom. Ooh, a Shrek sub story. Let's go. I'm so down for a Shrek sub story. I want to see more Shrek. Okay. And I'm down to put another plant in the corner just to be cheeky. Because you know me. I do enjoy being cheeky. Hey, hey. Yeah, there we go. We got ourselves a nice little looking dojo floor now. And you know what? I kind of dislike this little bit here. Let's get rid of it and instead place a nice little pattern on the flow right here. There we go. Actually, I might be down to like bump that up one perhaps. And we could have like a little fight here. Actually, let's move it down one. And actually, maybe we could expand it up one. So something like that, maybe? We could have a dude just waiting here to fight us. Haha! -ha! Dojo, let's go. John Stu, wait, what? I don't know if it made me laugh. I don't think it did. I've heard too much Shrek stuff in my day to uh, legitimately laugh. My soul is broken on the inside, if I'm being honest. Um, I need to maybe adjust the interior tiles here on the corner. But maybe I shouldn't. I just want to put a little dude here and a little dude here. Have some dudes that fight us. Um, but one thing that I should actually be prioritizing, though, is setting up the map connections. That's what I believe actually is the highest priority. Bump this up, bump that over, clear this. First layer, red base, centered red base. There we go. And then for the purpose of making this place feel intense, let's do something like this. Here we go. We got ourselves a nice little intense doge. There we go. This is a dang intense doge, let me tell you. And by doge, I mean dojo. Okay, so then this will take us up, and then we can come up here. There we go. Look how intense that is. Wait, maybe I shouldn't do it like that. Maybe I could like have it wrapped down. 
That seems decent. But bam Ooh, good question, William. Um, I kind of felt like the projects were outside of my skill level at the time. Um, I started working on them and then lost motivation. Unfortunately, losing motivation is a very common thing when it comes to uh, like fan game projects. But uh, yeah, it's very real. I was like, eh. I don't know if I feel like working on this anymore. A lot of it was just kind of like, I don't know if I could do it do it well. Oftentimes, oh, those aren't centered windows. Maybe I just won't add windows here. Um, but yeah, oftentimes a lot of people feel discouraged or disheartened by the scope of their ideas. And since I was more of a beginner developer at that time, I fell victim to that same um, thought process of thinking, oh, I can't do this. I don't know if I can make it work, you know? Ooh, Discord. Ooh. Cam says what we're all thinking. My soul is broken on the inside, if I'm being honest. <laughs> My soul is... I mean, it's true, though. <laughs> If I'm being honest. I mean, we're all honest here, right? Come on. We all got to be honest with each other. How can we be honest with each other if we're not honest with ourselves? I know, right? What happened to the audio? I got a little bit louder. I got a little bit wilder. Let's see. So this will make us always on top. So we actually want to turn left and then move upper left. So we can delete the turn right. Move up or right. Cool. And then this should, instead of placing us in the Komare Dojo, should place us in the Nensho Dojo here, facing right. Perfecto. So that's a nice looking up left staircase. And we can actually just copy this for this other staircase. I love copying staircases. It's so nice. Cool. So now we just have to do the same thing, but for a down left staircase. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the Komare Dojo and find a nice little down right staircase and copy it for our own purposes. Game making is just taking things that have already been made by somebody else and tweaking them until they work for you. That's the key. So instead of moving right, we just want to move left and that's it? That's all we do? Okay, I'm down for that. Nensho Dojo, so if we're moving down a lair. Oh shoot, we need to be facing right here though. Or should it place me here? I guess it should place me here. Let's see. Direction right. Cool. So we're just going to take that same exact thing, copy it, and paste it here. And we are going to go here. That should all be set up now, I think. Well, I do know how to make gifts, yes. I do know how. I can Photoshop some mean memes. Oh no, seeing good games demotivates you? The trick is to derive motivation from good games by deconstructing what was good. A tutorial? I could, I guess, but I guess it's less of a Pokemon tutorial and more of a, like, a meme tutorial. But, knowing how to make memes is very important. I'll say it. I'll say it. Learning how to make memes is important. Memes are important. I'll say it. Okay, let's see. I think that's pretty decent. It's true. You could make a meme and it could suck. <laughs> that is absolutely very real. You could make a poo-poo meme. Let's see. I set up some decent rock smash stuff already in Jinetsu Caverns, right? I should probably put a Rock Smash here, just to force us to use it. Just to remind the player that we have Rock Smash. Once you get an HM, you can forget it if you aren't using it. There we go. We got ourselves a nice little mandatory Rock Smash. So let's go back to the Doge. And let's paste a Rock Smash like here, like here, and maybe one like here. There we go. And then maybe one like there too. You gotta smash through some rocks if you want to join the Nensho clan. I'm sorry. You gotta be strong of heart and strong of will. And if you're not, I don't think you're getting into the Nensho clan. 
You gotta be brave, too. You gotta be tough. You gotta be sneaky. You gotta be quick. Alright, let's call this... Hanatsu... Cave. And this is gonna be... The intent is for this to be an extremely short cave. Oh, that could be fun, having some wild Pokemon appear. We could set that up. We could definitely set that up. Oh, yeah. Let's see. What song should we play in Hanatsu Cave? Should I just play the same song that we were playing? I'm just going to play the same song we were playing. Ooh. I see that Battle Swords of Justice. Let's go. Ooh, all right. Sounds good, Nexus. Have a good one. Heck, yeah. Get that break. Get that break. Breaks are so worth it. I do, I do love Gen 3. Okay, this the intent, though, like I said, is for this to be a very small cave. So let's just go, like, what, 35, 25? And then work on filling in some stiff. Okay, let's go. First things first, do some of that. And then let's start working on our little cave border here. Cool. Do one of these. Do some of this and then some of that. There we go. Got a nice little cave extendo here. Oop. So what I'd like for this to do is to be you enter on the right and then curve up and that's it. Short cave. Short cave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. So the player cannot see out of bounds here on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. But like I said, this is intended to be a very short cave. Very small. Yeah, a little short cave, a little baby cave. Oh, but we're entering from the right side. Do I have any good, like, right slash left? Crud. Oh, I do! Wait, oh, that's not really good, though, for the tiles that I'm using here, though. I could just tweak it so you enter up. Ooh, but I'm definitely interested in that Digi Souls, like a uh, open world stuff. Let's see. Yeah, there won't be any events going on in this cave. This is intended to just be like a connector cave that takes us to the shrine. Um, bada boom, bada boom. So we can actually tweak the uh, layout of the city for this to accommodate this update to the cave. This is actually going to be an extremely easy update. Take a look at that. We've already. Oh my gosh, look how fast that is. Bada boom. And then you just do one of these. Bada bam. Replace the grass. Replace our little sandy bit here. Do something like that. Maybe plug in one of these. Wait, get one of those maybe. There you go. Just like that, we've already tweaked it to be an upward cave. That was so fast. That was so fast. That'd be kind of cool if we did like a little dragon's den thing. Although I don't want to put any whirlpools or water in here. Like I said, the intent is for this to be an extremely short cave. And maybe we could do something like this. Maybe I could tweak the colors on this to work better with our cave. Like, does that look any good? Yeah, it's a little too dark. Or no, no, it's not that it's too dark. It's just, I guess it doesn't match the cave tiles we're using. So I'll make like an alternate version of this, I guess. Match the color scheme. But yeah, short cave, short cave, short cave. Short cave. Super short. I just want this to take us to the shrine. That's where the real meat of the eventing is going to happen around here. Let's see, do something like this. Do one of those, maybe. One of these, some of these maybe, you know what I'm saying? Maybe one of those, a little corner piece, and then some of these to slide across. There you go. Okay. Maybe plop one of these boys right there. Maybe plop one of those right there. And then, you know, maybe place some various rocks about, you know? Make it look nice. It's gotta look nice. Yeah, Cave L. Too saturated, that's the word. Yes, this little bit here is too saturated because the rocks that we're using otherwise, or for the other parts of the cave, are extremely desaturated. And I'm actually going to work on layer 3 here because I'm a psychopath. And I'm going to just enclose this cave. Enclose, enclose, enclose. 
Oh, and I'm gonna add a signature rock, of course. Oh, I could just do that. Hey, hey, hey. It works. It works. It gets the job done. There we go. Bring it up. Close it in. Oh, man. I'm getting like a turbo headache all of a sudden. How far into the stream are we? Oh, we're like 20 minutes until the end. Ooh, art channel. Ooh. Oh. I dig it. I dig it. I think this totally works. Though, he should have a little hat IMO. But otherwise, this is absolutely perfect. I love just going straight to overworld sprites. Ooh, and I do not watch Dr. Oz. Let's see. Plop. Plop. And then for our little cave, I guess what I could do is just, I guess I need to reposition this as well, because this is going to look awkward. This is going to look awkward, like, no matter how you slice it. No, I, I, I was going to say slice it. I know, right? <laughs> That's funny, the audio only gang. It's got to be like an interesting experience, like me saying it as I'm typing it. Uh, That's funny. All right, we've made all of our changes to indoor. Let's go make some changes to cave. Like, these are really cool. Maybe I should just look at this one instead, actually. Does this work? It's close to working. I do have some small tweaks that I'd like to make to it, but it's close to being good. It's almost there. It's so close. Okay, let's pull this corner in one. Let's actually make this cave a little smaller while we're here, yo. Plop these suckers over here. Plop these suckers over here. Plop these suckers over there. There you go, that's close. All oh, these little corner pieces though are not great actually. To Photoshop. Let's look into our little corners. I don't like this little bit at the bottom of the corner, the inward corner, so we can remove those. Those were kind of popping out to my eyes. Ooh. And to do the exits, I have to remove the middle wall part. Oh, I think I see what you're saying. Like, this bit underneath it, like that, to make it, like, passable. I want to move these down a little bit if possible, though. It's, like, a little bit too high up. IMO. Can I even do that? Ah, shoot, it's, like, nesting at the bottom. What I would like to do is make it so that way... Frick. What I'd like to do is maybe make it like this, so that way the bottom is actually, like, here. And, like, that's the tile that we touch for transferring. But then I gotta move this down now. Which is gonna offset a lot of stuff. But we're not necessarily using this tile, so... Oh boy, it's gonna be misaligned for a bit. <laughs> but I'll just keep it in the interest of using this one tile. We're ultimately eventually going to want to use this like icy one, I think, too. We're going to set up some ice caves. We can audit this in a little bit or later, but right now I'm just setting this up to work with what I think is going to look best here. Let's see. Let's take a look. Blop, blop. Cool. That is looking better. The only downside now is that we don't have our bottom, but it's easy enough to add that. I do think that that looks a lot better now in terms of positioning. Now, the next thing that I'd want to do is maybe just look into the color palette. Although it is looking pretty decent. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay. Let's see, bada boom, bada boom. And then let's copy one of these and then just paste it above. Oh shoot, we can't. Well, I guess we could if we do this. That seems decent. Bada boom, bada boom. Look at that. Little cave. 
Ooh, favorite man versus food challenge? Hmm. There was that one where he had to eat a bunch of ice cream and it was really difficult. So like halfway through the challenge, he um, got, he like ordered fries and he talked about it being like his like game plan and strategy. Always thought that one was interesting because he was like, yeah, who would have thought that ordering more food would help me finish my current food? But he said that like the, the warmth and saltiness of the fries was the secret to him being able to eat like a ton of ice cream. That's the one. Yeah, the kitchen sink. I think that one's my favorite because it's like the coolest story. Like, oh, I had to order the fries. That one was cool. That one was super cool. Let's see. I want to work on the coloring of this little boar out here. In order to do that, what I'd like to do is I'd like to pull these cave tiles here and maybe just pull the colors from them. Honestly, that could be the move. So let's go like here. Okay, so what we got here is this and I'd like to isolate this. Oh, it's an hour. Okay. Let's see, I'd like to isolate this layer. And then what I'd like to do is just find, okay, I have contiguous on, let's turn it off. Find the lightest color and replace the lightest color. Find the second lightest color and replace the second lightest color. I guess third lightest color over the third lightest color. Fourth over the fourth, maybe. That kind of is looking like garbage. Maybe I should be focusing more on the walls and I'll, I'll start with the darker colors first. So darkest color into darkest color, perhaps. Second darkest color over, I'll say second darkest color. Third darkest over third darkest. I feel like maybe that's still looking like garbage when I do that. Oh, they went to the ice cream place? Also, that's awesome, Adam. Thank you for swinging by, man. I would love that. I just had to order the takoyaki. <laughs> I would so be down for that. <laughs> we got to put it like a takoyaki in the game for people to eat or for Pokemon to eat. Well, yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely, Adam. That was a cool challenge. Another one that I really like the story of. Hey, welcome back, Nanky Kang. Maybe I, you know what? Maybe I'm just not going to worry about like recoloring this stuff right now. I think I'm wasting too much time on it. We got to be jamming. I'm going to say that looks fine. Ooh, the Sword of Justice theme. Oh, man. That theme always, like, tripped me out because that, like, slows down and speeds up, right? That one's, like, it's, like, whoa. But there was one story on Man vs. Food where um, he told us, like, they made the wings that were already a spicy challenge. They made the wings extra spicy because they said they wanted to, like, burn him out. And he told this story on, like, a podcast or something. It was, like, some, what was it? Maybe it was Hot Ones, actually. And uh, they made them extra spicy, like, way too spicy, like, unsafe levels of spice. Let's see. I feel like the transfer with transition cave-in doesn't work well for this, because we're already calling P cave entrance. So I might just have to change this to a transfer. And since we're calling P cave entrance, I mean, I'm calling that to make the escape rope work. If we don't do PB cave entrance, it won't work. Yeah, maybe it was Hellfire. So let's just do a transfer player. And we're going to transfer them into Janetsu Caverns here. Facing up. And I want to make sure that this looks good. And I guess I'll... I should probably make sure it looks good before I copy and paste it into another place. But... Let's test it. Yeah, I forget which one it was. I forget which one. But I know that it was one that was, it was bad what happened to him. All right, let's test this. I just want to make sure this transition looks good. So that looks bad because we're doing the thing twice. Let's see how this looks. That looks fine because we're doing it once. 
So for cave entrances, we shouldn't use the better transitions. We should only use normal transitions. So let's fix that all for our cave transitions real quick. So the PB transfer with transition is something we shouldn't call because we're already calling PB cave exit. Unless the transfer with transition already calls PB cave exit, and I'm doubling up and being redundant. I don't know. I do find calling transfer players in this method to be easier though. Because like you can just like click on where you want people to be transferred. Let's see, am I doing a transfer transition there? I am. I think that's fine though. We don't need to touch these. Because I'm only doing it once. Here I need to fix it though. Cave exit, insert transfer player. This should take us to Jinetsu Pass, but up here. And then this should do the same one over here. Oh, what's going on, Volsian? A final solo entry. Oh, making a game in three days instead. Volsian, I'm very excited to see what you come up with, man. That is crazy. But at the same time, you've already proven that you have the capability to get it done. So hell yeah, man. Don't wear yourself out too much, though. I, we need Voltzion alive for the for the for the good of the community. We can't have Voltzion leaving on us. We need we need Voltzion happy and healthy. Uh, we want to be on a happy, healthy Voltzion timeline. Let's see. So I set these up. Let's go to Hanatsu. Ooh, our homework. Oh no, get it done. I know, getting one done is tough, right, Endless? Also, what's up, Endless? How you doing, man? Oh, man. Yeah, you got that content, though. Let's go. Yeah, you just gotta take care of yourself. I'm very bad at taking care of myself, if I'm being honest. If I'm being honest. Hey, there we go. Enough time to come back alive. You definitely, like, need to take, like, a, a break. Take, like, or once it's all done, like, take a week off. Take a load off. Let's see, do one of these, retain. Let's see, oh shoot, I cut it. Edit, delete, insert, I transfer to right here. Sweet, 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 sweet. So all of our cave transitions should be set up perfectly. Now what I need to do is actually copy another one from the inside of the caverns and use that for our exiting of the Hanatsu cave. Perfect. And this should take us to Hanatsu Village. And it's all gonna work perfectly. Now what we need to do is set up the shrine. Voltzion's Games Episode 1. Oh, that's awesome. Oh no, it takes a week off and then has assessments the very next week. Yikes. Dude, yeah, that playlist is gonna be filled. Let's go. That's gonna be quite a playlist. Hey, what's up, Fire King Atlas? Oftentimes, I uh, make, but it's like my family makes... I'm living with my family right now due to a quarantine and not having to be in the office for work. So I'm working remotely. So I've been able to be down in San Diego and I've actually almost been working remotely for a year now, which is crazy. That's mind blowing. But, um, Hey, welcome back. Reddit Corp. How you doing? But, um, so my family usually is preparing dinner when I come downstairs and then I help chop stuff or like clean stuff or whichever. So I try to do my part. But when I was living on my own, oftentimes I would make stuff, but it would be fast stuff, like unhealthy stuff. One thing I would do is I would go to the store and I would buy this like microwave, like carnitas thing. And I would like heat up the carnitas and then turn that into like tacos. And I could turn it into like two or three dinners of worth of tacos. But then sometimes I would just put it in like instant ramen and I would just have like instant ramen. These tacos are good. Oh, shoot. Do I have a picture of my tacos that I made? Dang. Maybe I don't. Maybe I do, though. It's only going to be a two-hour stream, though, and I have ten minutes left, so maybe I shouldn't waste time on finding taco pictures. But I know I took them back when I was living in L.A., so they're pretty long ago. Oh, check this out. This was a ramen that I got in L.A. It was like a super garlic tonkatsu or something. It had a little thing at the bottom when you finish it that says, let's see, can you read that? I think he says, that's what I'm talking about. I want, I want it to like focus. 
We the webcam focus is pretty whack sometimes, though. Like, it doesn't even focus on Shrek. Let's see. I need to find my picture of, like, tacos that I made, though. They must be around here somewhere. Oh, there you go. These are kind of plain. Wait, those look boring. I want to find ones that look less boring. Ah, whatever. I'll settle for the boring ones and then move on. Oh, how about this? I made these for a company potluck back when we were all still up in LA. These are all my tacos. I made a little, like, custom salsa. Dang, it's not focusing. So that's like four trays of tacos, and I put limes on them. Dang. I gotta just, like, send these in, like, Discord or something. Oh, and it didn't have broth? Oh, man, I'm gonna say that that wasn't legit then. You gotta get, like, tonkatsu. Get some tonkatsu broth up in there. Ooh, that'll be popping. Ooh, that'll be popping. I like making food. What do I want to call this? Hanatsu Shrine. Hanatsu Shrine. And we'll have this use Bushido Outdoor. Dude, yeah, Shaken Katsu is good too. Oh man, there's so much good food. There's so much good food out there, man. There's just so much good food. And you know what? I want to eat it all. I'm going to eat all of the good food. Let's just make the shrine pretty big. And let's make it play our Forest of Death short. Shazam. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Legit. I do like me some legit Raymond. Who favorite food? I don't know. When I was younger, I used to say that it was like sushi or pizza. But I, I don't know. There's so many gosh dang good foods out there. It's hard to choose sometimes, you know? Wait, how do I do an upwards exit? Oh no, do I not have an upwards exit? Ugh. Oh, look at that. That's cool. I like that with the uh, with the green grass. Okay, I could probably just take one. Maybe I could rotate one? Hmm. I'm trying to do like an upwards thing, like right around here. So have me going like up, out. I might have to just make that real quick. I feel like that wouldn't be too hard. Oh, pardon me. Yikes. Actually, I could probably just make it without even anything. Ooh, home-cooked kidney beans. There you go. Ooh, a goofy cookbook. That'd be cool. That'd be awesome. Let's see. I think I know what to do here, though. Rather than making a, a different cave thing, I could actually just probably take one of these and put it like this. Although, wait, that's a different color than our grass now, huh? Yeah. I could just copy one from the cave tile set. Uh huh. I was thinking of doing it like this. Where we have like a corner piece and then like a wrap bit and then like a corner piece and then a bit that like wraps around like that. Although that's probably not for the best, but you know what I'm saying? Something like that could be good. So at least it's like clear that that's where they came from. Oh gosh, RNA bites. Oh no. A little takoyaki. Does it look half bad? Oh hell yeah. Let's ro let's rock with it then. Let's make it work. Let's lock it in and let's go to our Bushido outdoor and update this so that way it works with our like different grass that we have. So let's copy this. Let's scroll on down to these toils. Where are they? Bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. Hey! Let's paste our new grass here. And then let's go here and then isolate these by removing the old grass. This will be a good fix as well because we're using these tiles in other places with our grass. So I want to make them match. So let's actually go back to layer one. No, let's actually go back to layer zero. And let's delete these from layer zero. Hopefully I did I select it all. I don't think I did. Here we go. Photoshop, Photoshop. Graphic design is important. There we go. So now these have been isolated to their own layer, which means we can magic delete. 
which is really the key to happiness. Look at that. Oh my God, that's good. Ooh, good question, Takey King. One tip that I would give to make cutscenes a little bit better is to use show animations. Yes, and move roots, yes. Um, one thing that I do frequently is when somebody says something and then somebody wants to react to it, you could have somebody show, do a move route and turn. And if you do a show animation, make sure you do a wait after the show animation to wait for the animation to finish. For example, the exclaim animation, I think takes like 24 frames. So you could do show animation, exclaim, and then underneath that, wait 24 frames or wait 26 frames for dramatic effect. Yeah, that's one of my biggest uh, little bits of advice. Yeah, dude, move roots. Oh, man. I love making me some move roots. Check this out. I'm also going to go wild here. I'm going to copy this grass a bunch. And then I'm going to do the unthinkable and merge layers. So now I have just a grass line. I'm going to do the absolute unthinkable. Forgive me, for I have committed great acts of treason. Look at that, though. And now here's the real kicker. What we can do is we can merge all these again. And then we can just copy this chunk. And drag it over here. And now look at us. We're graphic designers. We did it. Now what we can do is save those changes, do a little close, do a little map refresh, and shazam. I know, right? The unthinkable has been done. Let's go. Ooh, a subplot. Let's go. Let's go. There's so much good stuff going on, man. Okay, so let's clear up the second layer a little bit, actually, and just put something like this here. And we can actually free up our first layer by just doing a little something like that, a little ditty like that. And one thing I was thinking of is making this root more mountainy. So I want to have some trees like that. Or by root, I actually mean shrine. I don't mean root. Um, but then doing something like this, maybe. And having there be like some like mountainous bits up above. Oh, shoot. We're almost at the mark. Ooh. I'm almost at the end of the stream time. Something indif the impossible. Oh no, somebody cracked an Nokia. That's impossible. At least I thought it was impossible. That is good stuff. <laughs> you memers. You absolute memers and dreamers and schemers. I like it though. Let's see, something like that, something like that. Then do a little upsy daisy like so. Look at us go. We are schmoving right now. As I slow as I slow down tremendously. But yeah, I was thinking of making it something like upward. I've absolutely put like way too much like verticality on this map. But I'd like for it to be like a mountainous shrine, and I like for it to be centered, so I'm glad that we still have it like centered. Let's pull the there's a blue and a green. Oh, there's already a red. Let's just pull the red. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, that's true. What about the geezers? What's up, Noel? How you doing? Hmm. For the geezers, hopefully the geezers aren't also sleezers. Because I don't want people to be sleazy. Hmm. But welcome. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> What's going on? What is going on? I wonder if I should make this one grassy, actually. Could, it, could that work? Like we entered a little grassy cave bit? Nah, I'm going to keep it non-grassy. I think that would look better. And then let's go to layer one and not do that that I just did, but instead do this. Yeah, that's going to look better. That's going to look better. Cool. And I'd like for there to be water in this because it's a shrine as well. So we got to have a little bit of water. I know, right? Sometimes I pronounce names decently, but Noel's not new. <laughs> but sometimes I pronounce names horrifically bad. It is an inspiring level of terrible, or maybe not inspiring, 
jaw dropping might be the correct word. Luxion. Have I? S oh, I've, I've said that, haven't I? That's horrible. Let's see. Let's do something like this. Let's do something like that. Oh, something like this. Something like this. Yeah. Look at that. We got ourselves a little map going on here. We got ourselves a little map. Let's go. So we can do something like that. The scent is meant to be a little bit more mountainy. I'd like for there to be like a little ascending staircase. Now the best way that I can think of to do something like that might be, would it be like this to extend this into like a too tall wall? A little tall wall. There you go, get ourselves a little tall wall and then get on up there. The only problem here now is that this is like guaranteed to be um, rocky. We could just live with walking on the rocks, like so. But I'd like for there to maybe be some grass. You know what, I'll make this work though. I'll make this work. Because I actually set up some nice little tiles which are getting harder and harder to find um, for this sort of thing. Here they are. These are the ones. Hey, what's up, Andrea? Ooh, I definitely want, I, that's definitely on my to-do list. The thing is, um, I don't know how to do it, but doing Dynamax stuff is absolutely on my to-do list. It is on the list. And you better believe I got a list. I got a long list, actually, of stuff that I want to cover. Let's see, something like this. Something like that ought to be good. And then maybe we could just do something like this. I'd like for this shrine to maybe feel a little bit more enclosed and mountainy. So I think that this is actually a good direction for it. Uh, let me actually bring these down one. And then maybe over one. There we go. So this is almost like a little forest, like little relaxing place. Hey, what's up, Red Serrano? How you doing? I'm about to end pretty soon. Because I did reach the two hour mark and I wanted it to be just a two hour stream. Mm. Oh, good question, Shanga. Oh, it's all good, Red Tyranno. I'll probably still be going for like a little bit more because I'm kind of in a groove and I want to finish this map. But once the groove is done, then I, the stream will be done too. But yeah, the leaf counter. What you could do is do like a variable count or. Hmm. I don't know how to do it. By making it so there's Pokemon taking out. You might have to like set it up so that way whenever you take something out, it in like it counts like a variable. And then you'd also want to do another thing with like a conditional branch for that variable. Ooh, no Rickroll. Mm, I'll see it when I believe it. Oh. There you go. An essential script for Dynamax and Max Battles. This is one that I think I may have found before. Oh, it's no longer supported. Eh. Ooh, good question, Lux. I'm gonna say for the Komore Dojo, let's actually keep that kind of small. I'm thinking two trainers in the middle of the dojo and then the leader at the top of the dojo. These trainers could be harder though and we could give them some nice mid-battle dialogue. Oh, it's all good, Redicorp. I definitely still appreciate the effort. I absolutely, or the, the thought. I absolutely 100% appreciate you going out and checking out stuff and then sending it my way. I think that's super cool. That is super duper cool. But yeah, for Komare Dojo, yeah. So we can make them be two trainers in the middle. And I'd like for maybe there to be one trainer before the cut trees and one trainer after the cut trees. And then at the very top, there's the clan leader. And then, yeah, we can just give those guys some, some mid-battle dialogue and buff them up. They can be buff. Oh, by the way, I have a question, Lux. Um, for the um, Sushi Shrine, which I still need to check, can we, um, I guess, let's make a note here. Let's make a maybe a new, oh yeah, I guess we need to keep track of TMs also. Gosh, um, it would be good for us to keep track of which Shadow Pokemon have been given to trainers. So we could potentially put that in the Bushido decks. I'm trying to think of the best way to do that. Could we just like make their color purple or something maybe? Because we know that we've given them a... 
let's see. I know that Nickit has been given as a shadow Pokemon. And I know that Croconaw slash... I didn't do shadows for these guys, but let's see. I know that Croconaw and Toracat have their shadows. Oh, yeah. I didn't show those off on stream at all yet. Have You guys want to see Shadow Croconaw and Shadow Grotal? I made these earlier, and they are very cool. Let's see. Battlers. Oh, cool. Actually, I can just go straight to the folder for my art. Check this out. Ooh, some stuff. Sounds good, Lux. I will definitely check that out. Let's see. Stuff to do in the next one. Okay, I can set those up. Yeah, mid-battle dialogue. Sweet. One thing that I might also want to tweak is, yeah, Como Ray Grunt mid-battle dialogue. I think they currently just set the weather to sunny. But I think we shouldn't set the weather to sunny for them because that's actually bad for Como Ray in that sunny boosts fire damage. I mean, if they use Solar Beam, Sunny could be good. Hey, thank you, Lightly Salty. Hey, Lightly Salty, check it out. I have a Joker plush that I can bust out. Let me show it real quick. I have a Joker plushie that I bought because I um, I played Joker in Smash Bros. I actually won a couple tournaments. There was one tournament at uh, Sony that I came in second place at. Oh, look at that. Looking cool, Joker. I still need to play Scramble. I definitely want to play Persona 5 Scramble sometime. Look at my little jokester. Look at that little guy. Yeah, I got a, a trophy, actually. So, check this out. This is a trophy that I got for getting in second place in the Smash tournament. There was another Smash tournament that I did come in first in. But this one I got kind of bopped at the end. If you haven't seen this, prepare to pog. How cool is that, right? I love showing this off every opportunity. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, jeepers. Oh, jeepers. All right. So I made a Shadow Croconaw. I made a Shadow Tyrogue. And I think that Shadow Tyrogue would be really cool to give to somebody as a trainer or a Shadow Trainer because Tyrogue has a lot of variable or variance. You know, the fact that he can evolve into Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, or Hitmontop is kind of cool. There's Shadow Grotal. Shadow Grotal has some white spots on it, and I think that was part of the original sprite. So I didn't recolor the white spots, but maybe I should. Um, I made that Shadow Gibble. I made a Shadow Weevil. Shadow Makuhita. Look at that little guy. Shadow. I really like Shadow um, Gliscor. This one's cool. And then Frostlass. This one's okay. Little Shadow Dino. Shadow Toracat. I liked doing Shadow Dino because you can't see Dino's eyes, so I didn't have to do any red eyes. Although the red eyes isn't hard to do. Alright, so we were grooving. Last I recall, we were grooving. So let's continue grooving by putting this stuff onto the third layer. And wiping the second layer clear, like here. And I was actually going to maybe bring these walls in. So let's find our nice little corner walls here. Which corner walls do I want to do? I guess I could just do these tall corners. That makes it feel so, like, imposing, though. Although I guess maybe that's, maybe that's the vibe. Maybe we make it, like, imposing. Something like that. Something like, oop, something like that. I'd like to maybe put trees up here, though, so I could probably bring these out one. What would be the best way for me to do that? Something like this and something like this, probably? Although, how do I do that upward corner again? Oh, wait. that's how I do it. So something like that and something like that is what I need to do. There we go, and then we can just bring these out one. Yes! Mapping! Let's go. Hey, thank you, Dr. Santa. I'm glad you like them. I set them up myself by going into Photoshop and doing some little palette swaps. And um, I'm pretty happy with how they look. Heck yeah. Ooh, are we having green text? Good question. I'm gonna say 
yes, I'm cool with it for her green text. Thank you for running that by me, though. I do think... I do understand that it could potentially be confusing, but I think it will be clear enough given the context. At least I hope so. Or I, I believe so. Um, I think that it should be fine. I think it should be good. Oh. What's going on here from now on? Oh. Oh. This is interesting. That is very interesting. The from now on part is the part that's like, oh. What's going on here? What is going on there? Let's see. Can I just do this and have it look fine? I think I can. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Hey, and then I can just do a paint bucket now. Hey, and then I can just do like one more of these. Like that. Followed by something like this, maybe. There we go. Mountain shrine, mountain shrine. Hey, look at us. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Oh, so she's reinstating. Okay. I like that. Oh, that's so cool that she has an arc. What's up, Bloom? How you doing? That's so. That's such a good idea, Lux. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I would have thought to do that just because I'm like not as good at like writing characters as you are. And um, god dang, giving other NPCs arcs is something that is very like, like needs to be done more and is really cool to see being done. Oh man, that's good. Oh, Bushido's gonna be so poppin'. Bushido's gonna be so poppin'. I love it when the games are poppin', man. The games gotta be poppin'. Let's see. Oh, wait, we gotta put some grass up in here. We gotta put some grayish. It wouldn't be a shrine if it don't have no grayish. I mean, come on. I mean, come on, you know? I mean, come on. Ooh, allow. It blocked trash talking? Auto mod. Come on, auto mod. What are you doing? Okay. I know it blocked she they trash talking. I guess you can't say she they trash talking. Is this too many flowers? That might be. I like them to be like alternating though. I guess let's actually. Oh, I'm getting a text. Oh, see, now it allows she they trash talking. Automod knows that we're watching and waiting. We're waiting for Automod to slip. Okay, let's get rid of this one and this one, actually. I think that looks a lot better. And let's spruce it up with a little more grass. You gotta add some more grass. It wouldn't be a mountain shrine if we didn't have grass. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. What's up, Dishonored? How you doing? I know, right? She, they, trash talking. I don't understand the inner workings of Automod's brain sometimes. I, I I appreciate Automod sometimes from saving me from the inevitable craziness that could happen. Oh, it's the hyphen that does it. Oh. That is so weird. But yeah, I, I gotta say, sometimes I do appreciate Automod for saving us from the uh, insanity that can occur. But at the same time, it seems like Automod is more like just a recurring meme. We're like, oh, auto mod blocked. What? Auto mod blocked. What? There we go. I made myself a little shrine. Let's go to G-Con Shrine real quick. Oh, is the song ending? No! I need this song to play forever. Is this the no? Is this the no? Is this oh no? Is this the Yeah! Cool. So let's go to Hanatsu Shrine, do a little paste aroni. And should we make it as green or should we make it a little bit like. Since it's more of like a fiery shrine, we could do like a little bit of yellow here and we could even lower the opacity a little bit. Like let's go 130 instead of 150. That ought to be cool. 
Give red text. Ooh, okay. Yeah, in that case, let's pass. Let's just give her, like, just standard black text then. So we don't have to give it, like, colored red and blue. That's a good call. And if it makes it easier and faster to set up stuff, I am all for that. Let's, let's scrap it. Scrap it. All right, so what I need to do now is I need to copy this to the shrine. And I guess do a downward one. And it will take us into Hanatsu Cave here, but facing down. And then we just need to do the same thing for the cave, where we're leaving the cave. But we go up, and we cave exit shrine here. And I guess I'll, I'll do a force up. All oh, let's go. All oh, let's go. Ooh, that'd be kind of cool, Tristan. That's actually a really good idea. That's something that I don't think enough Pokemon games do, where it's like introducing the cast. Why am I not seeing the name here? Ah, whatever, I'll worry about that later. Look at that, Hanatsu Village. Oh, they do that in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon? Okay, cool. Yeah, introducing characters Oh, we got it. Information editors, edit metadata, outdoor, yes. Show area, sure. Map position. Um, I guess here, whatever. We should maybe readjust the map so it's like above, but for now, I'm just gonna say whatever. Outdoor, no. Show area, no. Map position, uh, here. Cool. We can go to the shrine. Maybe the yellow is a little bit overbearing. Let's look into adjusting the color of the fog. The yellow might be a bit much. Um, we could try doing like, oh gosh, I don't want to do like red though. Maybe like a little bit lighter green. And we could reduce the opacity even further. I feel like that's too much. Hey, thank you, Dishonored. Right? We're chilling, working on Pokemon stuff. It's fun. Oh, that's right. I have Flux. So it is making everything a little bit more yellow. That's right. Oh, man. Yeah, making maps is just so fun. Oh, my gosh. Gotta bounce? All right. I'll see you, Tristan. Have a good one, man. Have a good one. Thank you again for swinging by, and thank you for that awesome sprite that you've already sent. I'm excited to see what the Shogun Overworld looks like and plugging that guy in. And uh, I'm excited to hang out with you again in the next stream, man. Have a good one. Have a good one. So we set up the dojo layout, which is pretty nice for Nensho. There is one more thing I should do before I head to bed, though. I want to go to the Battlebacks. And I want to see what our dojo setup is looking like. Because we have dojo one. And I believe we have another dojo set up with the purple, that's Shogun. So what I'd like to do is I would like to take Dojo 1 and just tweak it for our various other Dojo battle backgrounds, which should be decently easy to do. So what I could do is actually copy this and make it green and paste. Copy, make green, paste. Copy, make green, paste. Ooh, you're gonna dip? All right, that sounds good, Lux. Ooh, okay. Oh, that sounds awesome. Hell yeah, that is perfect, Lux. That is That sounds like a perfect plan. I hope that you get a good night's sleep, man. And uh, we'll see you next time. Oh yeah, and don't forget to push. I need to push my stuff too. <laughs> push them all. I think Lux already did push though. I'm seeing GitHub. Yeah. Yeah, Lux just pushed. <laughs> I hope you get a good night's sleep though, man. And good luck on the school stuff too. You can do it, man. Oh gosh, Lux is demanding, I mean, Volts <laughs> is demanding a push. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. We gotta push it now. Ooh, also, good question, uh, Dishonored. I am not using Diamond Pearl as a base, actually. What we've done is we're, um, this is actually more so using Fire Red Leaf Green as a base, and then heavily modified. So this is a tool called Pokemon Essentials, 
which allows you to use RPG Maker XP to modify and make like Pokemon themed style games. And what we've done is we've pushed in a lot of Gen 4 style um, tile sets and sprites into that. So we're making like our own Gen 4 style uh, game, but we have a lot of Gen 8 stuff in it. So it's like, it's all over the place. Oh yeah, push it to the limit. Limit. Past the point of no return. What do they say? You gotta learn how to hit it. That's a good song. What else was I going to look into here? You know what? While I'm looking at this, it kind of bothers me this like long stretch here. So I'd like to maybe fix this real quick. Oh wait, no, maybe I can't. Can I put a tree here? I don't think I can actually. I take it back. I'll just keep it as it is. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go back to that dojo. Dojo, dojo, dojo. Hey, what's up, Freddy Corp? Yeah, I'm definitely going to be ending the stream quite soon. Ooh. Good question, Dishonored. So, um, another game that I've worked on, if you type exclamation mark games in chat, you can get a link to all my games, called Pokemon Splice, is very heavy on different starter, different regional forms. Uh, Pokemon Splice goes crazy on regional forms. There might even be more regional forms than the Galar region. There probably are. Um, but this game is not planning to have regional forms. Instead, we're going hard on Shadow Pokemon. Screaming to push it to the limit. Oh, that's awesome, Voltzion. Go and push it to the limit! <laughs> limit! Okay, so let's call this Dojo 2. And then let's do a color overlay. Also, thank you, Endless. Let's go. You gotta be plugging the wiki. Always. Because the wiki has all that awesome info, yo. Okay, let's call this dojo2 underscore message. Oh, we gotta save this as a PNG. Did I save the other one as a PNG? I hope I did. Cool. I did. Nice. I know, right? The wiki is super cool. Whoever made that, we gotta give them a pat on the back. I tell you what. If, if we find the guy who made that wiki, can we, like, get him in the Twitch and, like, add him as, like, a mod or something? Oh, we gotta add the lore. We gotta get the Pokedex entries for each one. Oh, gosh. Let's see. Let's make this red now. Do, 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 do. Red, red, red. Red, 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 red. And you know what? Red. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, and then let's copy this one. And let's also make this one red. <laughs> that would be wild to plug in all the different Pokedex entries, though. Oh, Legends say he disappeared. Oh, no. But I believe Endless can save the wiki. Q Avatar uh, Last Airbender in intro. It goes, previously on Pokemon Splice. I learned waterbending. All right. Let's save this. <laughs> yeah, just Oppa. Oh, dude. I, it's funny, I feel like I've already watched The Last Airbender within the last year, and I want to watch it again. I love The Last Airbender. Did you guys hear about the uh, news for the the Avatar Studios, where the uh, original creative team, what's it like, Michael Dante DiMartino and like Brian Konietzko, I think are the two? They're like starting their own like production studio funded by Nickelodeon, and they're going to be given like the time and resources to make quality stuff. Which is insanely awesome because supposedly for Legend of Korra, they only were told that they were making one season. And then afterwards, they're like, oh, you're making another season. And then afterwards, you're making another season. So they just kind of made a whole bunch of like individual stuff instead of just one. Oh, I'd so be down to do an Avatar marathon. Avatar's so good. God. God dang, it's good. <laughs> it's a good show. I'll tell you what. I'd start turning into like a weird like, ah, oh, hooey. I'll tell you what. Yeah, King of Omashu. I start turning into like, oh, what in Sam hell? I was watching some Avatar. <laughs> That's so good. What's going on, robotic fan? What's going on? Let's see. Dojo four underscore message. There we go. I think we set up all these different dojo backgrounds now. 
Real quick, let's plug them in in our metadata because we're cool. Oh, I do love the cabbage merchant. What's going on, Ranko? How you doing? I hope you are doing well. Interesting. I'm not getting the text to appear for this map either. Ah, whatever. We'll figure it out. We will figure it out. Ooh, you hadn't seen it and you ran it? Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. Keyword wanted. I mean, I don't want to, like, stir any fires or stir any flames or whatever the saying is. But we all can agree that the original Avatar The Last Airbender series has more, like, magic than Korra. Oh, that could be funny. Yeah, a cabbage merchant. Like, a guy who keeps on coming around like, hey, guys, I'm selling some cabbages. And then the Akui clan show up and they, like, use shadow Pokemon to destroy it. And he goes, oh... Oh, my cabbages. Edit metadata. We want to go to the Hana or the Nensho Dojo, and we want to force the battle back of Dojo 3. And then we really quickly also want to go to the Komore Dojo and force the battle back of Dojo 2. There we go. And let's double check it by testing a wild battle. Or I guess, yeah, we can force a wild battle in a dojo. We're kind of crazy. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> do it. Hey, what's up, JG Lucian? How you doing? I took Spanish in high school, but I've totally forgotten all of it. I'm sorry, but welcome. Let's see. A whole side quest. That'd be funny. Oh, he gives you a cabbage Pokemon. That could be cool. <laughs> that could be super cool. Let's see. Field options, battle options, test. Let's test here. Yeah. Oh, oh well. Again, Korra is that they try to play all the jokes and stuff really safe. Oh, I can kind of see that, yeah. It's like, I don't know, it feels like less maybe like adventurous. One thing that I disliked about Korra was kind of how, I don't know, the way that they, ah, I'll debug through him. The way that they like treated her character, she's just like a punching bag the whole series, it feels like. Ooh, shiny odds, they're pretty high in this. Let me check my settings. By default, the shiny odds in this game are like I think it's like f 6 out of 65,536. Let me see if I can pull up the script. You guys can see this. Yeah, cool. So my shiny Pokemon chance is right now set to 120 out of 65,536. And if you encounter a Pokemon in rustling grass, the, the shiny odds are multiplied by 4. So it would be 480 out of 65,000. Which, that's not bad. That's not bad. It ain't great. But it's not bad. All right. I think I got to go to bed now. Yeah, so we've boosted the shiny odds immensely. And if you play Pokemon Splice, I think the shiny odds are like 200 or 220. Maybe. There you go. So we can get a lot of shinies. A lot of people get shinies in Pokemon Splice, and it's really cool. Check this out. Oh, wait. I don't have the fly switch unlocked. Oh, wait. I can still fly because of a bug. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Oh, wait, is in Splice is it 546 to 1? Or is it... I guess that's not so bad. Because otherwise it'd be like... Crazy. I wonder if I should add like a little island. Ooh, okay, and Bushido. That's pretty good. Let's see. I gotta maybe like fix my priorities on those tiles. Yeah. I gotta agree, Voltzion. I gotta agree. It just, like, I, if the series felt a little less magical to me. And it was like, oh, where they're just cycling in new villains all the time. You couldn't really, like, get to enjoy the villains. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Noel. Okay, before I end the stream, we're at the two and a half hour mark instead of the two hour mark. Before I end and go to bed... Let's push my changes. Oh gosh, I got a pole origin too. Oh man, hopefully I don't 
stomp anything because Lux was doing Suchi Shrine, so we should be good. This should be a safe merge. That's true, yeah. Where she like lost the bending. Yeah. It was interesting. Ooh, essential script files. A lot of them are like, hmm. A lot of them are in the RX data in the data folder. But since I'm using uh, Essentials GitHub, they've all been deconstructed and are in scripts and are individual Ruby files that you can then open with a text editor. Let's see. Let's merge. I'll call this Nensho Dojo. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Hensho. We'll call this Nensho Dojo plus Hanatsu Shrine stuff. Come on, commit. Come on, commit. Come on, commit. Come on. No merge errors. There's gonna be merge errors. Okie dokie. Um, for constants... Let's see. I feel like I want to stomp all of these with my changes. Oh, for tile sets. And I changed the metadata as well. I feel like I just want to take my changes for a lot of these, though. I did update tile sets a good amount. For system, I'm gonna say, let's take mine because I renamed some variables. Pokemon animations, I guess take mine. Metadata, messages. I feel like I don't wanna overwrite messages. I'll pull origin. Map infos, let's take mine because I renamed some maps. Constants, I guess we'll take mine and commit the merge. And of course it's gonna kick back and say like, there's a lock file and it's gonna be stupid because sometimes GitHub be stupid, but but at the end of the day, we get the merge through. Interesting. I kind of hear that Voltzion, yeah. I guess they, they play it as like a mentality thing in Korra, where it's like she was stubborn and like she had the mentality that was almost Earthbender-esque, but yeah. Anyway, I have merged my changes. I'm going to save the game and close it. Oh, cool. I saved it, and there's already, like, a system to RX data thing. Discard changes. Eh, eh, eh. And just to double check, I'm going to fetch Origin. All right. I'm going to end the stream now. Thank you all for hanging out with me again tonight. I hope that you all have a good one. Ooh, so to open RX data files, I don't think you can open them with, um, Adam. You might need to look into, like, deconstructing them. Uh, I don't know. You're very welcome, Dishonored. I'll see you, Yusis. I hope that you guys have a good one. I'll see you, Noel, also. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, y'all. Until next time, I hope that you have a good one. Bye now. Bye. Bye.